my name is Ellie, welcome to my channel, and today we are doing more makeup and continuing what I think is going to be the week of sister palettes. So I want to use Modern Renaissance to frame some uh, gorgeous shimmers from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Uh, yeah, that's that's just what we're going to keep doing because I, <laughs> it's getting real weird being on furlough, even though it's only like three days in. It's Monday, but since I don't have any plans, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I don't have any set schedule until I go back to work. Uh, it's hard to remember what day of the week it is. Uh, so I've kind of been being like, I think it's this day. Let's double check. Yeah, pretty sure that I, I knew that. Um, I trend more not eternal than daytime, so since I don't have to be at work at a set time, it's getting harder and harder to be up during the day. I just, I don't really know, because I'm not like, normally when you're off work, you're doing something. You took off work to like do uh, an errand or an appointment, or you're going somewhere. And we can't go anywhere right now, so I'm just, I made a cake. It is cooling downstairs. I made a, a banana cake, and I'm going to put cream cheese frosting on it, because we, I'm only allowed to make one dessert at a time, and then we have to go through it, and then I'm allowed to make another one. So, I've been doing that, and then also trying to, oh, 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 what am I doing? put my primer on the top lid and forgot to do my bottom lash line, which is important because otherwise, like I have foundation there, but it's already been set and I don't, I don't put like concealer down there. I am very lucky not to have any type of dark under eye circle shenanigans. Like, I have, um, I'm not the biggest fan about the shape of this fat deposit under my eye, but that's not something I can hide with concealer. It would just, it would just be the shape without, it would be the same color, because I wouldn't, I don't do the highlight and contouring in the the shape that a lot of people do. So. I'm also trying not to just buy a bunch of makeup, especially because while being furloughed, I am going to be paid unemployment, but it's going to be less than what I would make at my job. I also have um, an angry spot. There's a, it was a zit, it is no longer a zit, but it is still sensitive and a little puffed. So the shape of that eye area is a little different, but nothing that would stop me from doing makeup. It's not it's already healing, it's just puffed. What was I saying? Yeah, so I do have some money coming in for now. Um, and I have different expenses. Like I'm not I'm not doing groceries as much because I'm eating more at home. I'm not meal prepping my own stuff. But I did have to, like, buy new tennis shoes because the ones I have are not super great, which was fine. But now that I'm going for a bunch more walks, I needed shoes that would go more than a mile without me getting very angry <laughs> at my feet. Um, so I'm trying to not spend a bunch of money, but also... Sorry, the sun is going down. If it gets absolutely horrible, I'll move my uh, 
my lamp over, but some of it's just that there's, there's lights. Okay. <sighs> I had a plan and I'm not sure I'm going to do it. I might do it. Mm, mm, mm. So there was a, a shimmer in here that I thought was different. This gold dipped, I thought it was more of a green tone. Like it's still a nice old gold cool toned thing, but I thought it was more greeny because I was going to do like a, I was thinking of a shadow that's in a different palette, but I do still kind of want to do something with like the pink and the purple. And I don't know if I want to put old gold or rich girl or classy and sassy as like the inner third. Classy and sassy would match the pink tones, but I thought it was going to be really, I'll have to do that look a different day. But I do know that I want to do Bon Fresco and like a little bit of Venetian red and maybe love letter in my crease out of the modern renaissance. So let's start there and we will deal with color choices as we get there. Yeah, so there's a lot of indie brands that I had wanted to try that, you know, are doing um, some uh, sales and discounts to kind of encourage people to keep buying so that they have something coming in in the meantime while people are working less and ordering less and a lot of people are in a less financially stable place than me. So I see them, these are all brands, a lot of them are brands that I'm like, oh yeah, you were on my list to try someday and you're doing a sale and if I was going to spend my money anywhere, supporting small business is a good place to do it. But also I don't really need any more makeup. I'm trying real hard to like, if I am tempted by an indie brand doing a sale that was a brand that I wanted to try out and trying to like look through and see if there are interesting colors, if it is more than just, oh, I saw it and I thought it would be nice. I'm trying to find, like, go through and be like, would I use this? Is this different than whatever's in my collection? And often, the answer is not really. Because indie brands are awesome. But a lot of them are following the same, like at least the ones I'm following are following the same trend. Like, yeah, that's really cool looking. People are doing multichromes, but a lot of people are doing multichromes. And since I now have, I have pressed, I have loose, I have glitter, I have deep jewel tones, I have strong color shifts, I have soft color shifts, like... I got a lot right now to play with on Multicrum, which is the biggest thing people are doing. But also, some of them are getting into duochromes, which I'm like, okay, but I also have like a shit ton of duochromes as well. I really don't like this lighting. But do I care enough to move my lamp? I don't know. It's after five o'clock, so we are also drinking wine. Because I have that for now. I'm gonna take my fluffier brush, little blending thing. I'm gonna pick up Venetian Red to start. And kind of rock that in. I'm taking this about two thirds of the way through, and I might. Brighten it up with Love Letter in a little bit. You can see that. Okay. One half of my face is in darkness, but you can still see. It's fine. And the corner of my eye is watering. It's always this eye. Always this eye. 
We're going to go into Love Letter and add some brightness. Just kind of layering it over Venetian Red. And then blend out the crease. I think I will make a stupid decision of just keeping you guys where you are for now. We'll do the look, and at the end of the look, I'll angle it so you guys can see. Oh no. Now's when I have to make decisions about what goes on my face. <sighs> Let's start with New Money, which is the aggressive pink. Since I know I want that on like the center to two-thirds of my lid and no, that's the wrong brush. I'm gonna go with the fluffy one. I kind of want Living Lavish to be on just like the outer edge less than I normally bring in the deep color so that it kind of adds depth despite the fact that I'm not going super deep with the crease like on some days. so we can keep more of the pink like it's a nice pink it is a, a strong pink with that like fuchsia duochrome kind of flash <sighs> I'm not sure it really goes with the rest of the palette since the rest is you know shades of gold and green and purple this type of a hot hot pink is not really the most matching with the rest of the eyeshadow palette but I do like it I think it's cool I think it's it's kind of a very two-faced thing to have a aggressive pop of pink whether or not it goes with the rest of the palette okay I think those are close enough let's do we'll do this brush for the purple and then I'm gonna have to make a decision about what's going on the inner third soon and I am not ready so that was New Money. This is Live and Lavish. Just kind of deepening up that outer edge. And making it look darker. Hmm. They're mixing kind of funny. This might have been a bad plan. That happens more than I normally let you guys see. Since I was previously just doing makeup kind of on the weekends, and I knew I only had like two days to film, I wasn't doing as many risky looks. So I put a lot of thought into what things were going to do, I swatched a lot of things, I made sure that colors blended the way I thought they were going to. But since we're just doing makeup every day now, and doing fun makeup every day, I have not had to think about it as much. Okay, it's kind of doing it, kind of not. Oh no, what am I going to do for that in the corner? Let me, let me think. We'll just, we'll go in with Rich Girl, the like, taupey, silvery pink. I don't think it's going to look very good, but also I don't think <laughs> the purple's doing what I thought it was going to do. This is not, not what I wanted. Hmm. 
No, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Nobody has to see it except for the people that are going to watch this video. Let's blend it and see if I can salvage it. I don't know why I picked the pink. That was not what I originally was thinking about when I paired these together. I was kind of wanting to do... Um, yeah, this is not at all what I was thinking of when I started talking about these palettes together. I was talking about and thinking about using like raw sienna and burnt orange and realgar to make like a like a mustardy crease and I was going to put it with old money and living lavish and that would be a much better look but instead we're getting weird pink and the watering corner of my eye all right we get what we get I'm going to take some of living lavish and pop it on my outer corner Try to add depth to the look. Why? Why did I think picking like the worst shadow in the palette, this hot pink that I, is my least favorite in the palette, was a good idea? Who let me do this? Maybe you guys like it. Maybe somebody likes it. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I have a ton of fallout too. This is not going well. I am going to go ahead and take Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance for my inner corner just because it is a really nice inner corner highlight and I don't want to use the more stark silver in chocolate gold. these modern renaissance shimmers are a bit more edge of satin than like full-on metallic so let's blend the crease we'll finish up the look and maybe it'll be like some of those other days and it'll grow on me it's fine most of the fallout Soups away. Let's do a, a preemptive turn. It's not bad, other than like my watering corner. It's not bad when we have more sunlight, but we're going to go back into the shadows and finish up my face. Drink some more wine. No, that's that's not what I had planned. And I I did the look yesterday with the Gemini and the Mel palettes, and I immediately had something else I wanted to do with it. <laughs> uh, I want to do a different framing of like the three-toned lid that I've done before, which is like the um, the shimmery green, one of the gold from Colored Rain, and the purple. It makes a really, really cool three-toned lid. And I kind of want to do it with... I normally frame that in the grungy purple matte green mix that I do. I want to do that with more of a gradient. I think the greens are nice, but... I made the video talking about sister palettes and there are looks that I've used these palettes together for and for some reason even though a lot of them are looks that like I don't think I did 
a tutorial on or showed my work in, I all of a sudden I'm like, oh, well, I shouldn't do the look that I normally do out of these two palettes to exemplify how I use these palettes together. I should do something completely different. And I think that's sabotaging me. So me, I am sabotaging myself. I also do not care as much about my face because I'm not going anywhere. I keep saying nobody's going to see me as I film it for YouTube, but you guys don't care. You'll make fun of me. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Or you will bond with me over the fact that you've also made choices with your look that have not turned out the way you wanted. Pan's getting real big. I know, not as exciting for you guys. Also, this pan's getting real big too. I've been playing around with placement and how dark I can make certain things uh, right before I take off my makeup at the end of the day, which I, I do sometimes. I'm always pretty careful with the blush because I have been burned by this blush before, but I have also worn it heavier and liked it, so. Tempted to like pop more on the backs of the apples. We're gonna do that because I said it and because I already am not the biggest fan of this look, so. And we can blend it out with the bronzer brush, like I do anyway. That is kind of the fun thing about having a look you don't like. You don't care as much about the rest of it, and you just start doing fun stuff. <sighs> At least for me. And I think the pink helps it carry a heavier blush look. A bit of a rosy winter look. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's not a healthy use of my neck. It's fine. <sighs> Should I keep going into the Anastasia one? Or, oh no, actually this is, this would be a good look for Star. I don't use Star very much, but this would be a good look for it, since I have that, sh that silver inner corner. We'll do star. She says, well, talking to herself and not giving you guys any reference for what I was thinking. I was considering if I should keep working on panning the Moonchild Glow Kit for looks or use a bit more of my um, Franken highlighter. Franken highlighter is very nice, but this is kind of a cold look. Lots of purples and pinks. And that cool tone silver. I'm very comfortable using the Moontal Glow Kit because I have been panning it so long. I've paired it with so many different looks that I don't worry about the highlighter being off. But also, it's not the only highlighter I'm using, so maybe I should switch it up. Especially since it's not the only highlighter I'm panning. But I think we'll save that for a different look. Tomorrow. Trying to think of what exactly I want to do when I do the Tarte and Urban Decay Sister Palette look. Because there really aren't very many. Well, there's just the one mat. There's the one mat between them, and I don't like shimmers in my crease. And when I make a look that is not my favorite, 
I do kind of automatically start doing the next look and being like, what would I do instead? Not that I'm going to wash this off or do a second look today. I just... I'm making myself happy with thoughts of better looks tomorrow. And I, I had plans for the Tarte and the Urban Decay palette. But then I was like, well, I can't do that right away because I just did a Tarte look. Not that it matters. But my brain says it matters. And I want to do something more interesting than just I take a light shimmer from here and a dark shimmer from here and that's the look. Okay, and now to clean up the edges with my brow pencil, which I've been really liking. You guys would know, because I've told you I've liked it every time I've done it. Oddly enough, the swelling of that angry spot has like lifted the arch of my brow and made them more even. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I should not be excited about the side effects of facial swelling. It's like when you get something around your mouth or your chin and it all of a sudden it's off kilter and not quite right. But that one is doing something I don't mind. Okay, so I says a Beverly Hill palette. We're gonna do star. If it gets too frosty, we'll pop some pink heart on top. Because since I was playing with makeup last night and putting on way too much highlighter, I did end up finishing off purple horseshoe. So that's two completely done. And since star has the most in it, and it's one of the ones that I'm like eh, about. gotta start finding ways to use it. I found all my favorite ways of using the other ones, so gotta work on star. Because it's pretty, but I think if I do too much, it'll get real weird looking real fast. Luckily, I am a cool toned lady. So a little bit of silver is still good looking for me, in my opinion. It's just, it's like when I originally started, I think it was Blue Moon. Blue Moon? Mm. What did I? I lied. Blue Moon is what I finished yesterday. Purple Horseshoe is one that I finished a long time ago, which was another one that was harder for me to approach because it was a stronger color to deal with. Yes, lock in the makeup that I don't really like. Um, Purple Horseshoe had a stronger based color, so I couldn't layer it as much, and it was much more apparent. Like, um, Pink Heart, Blue Moon, not even Blue Moon, Blue Ice, and Lucky Clover are all light with a flash, as opposed to being more of a stronger color that's visible from all angles. It was like, ooh, that's kind of like a fun, sneaky pop from certain angles that not everybody's gonna see immediately. It's something that's not as aggressive. Purple Horseshoe was a stronger highlight, uh, but actually ended up being one of the ones I got the most compliments on, so maybe I should just not be worried about it. Yes, I put way too much wine in my wine glass because I don't feel like getting up to refill it. I know there's a proper amount for various wine glasses. I know there's a proper wine glass for different types of wine. I'm not gonna do that. Nope. I will let people do that when I go out ever again to restaurants. But I don't normally do that in my own home. Except once in a while I will do that with um, champagne flutes for wine with bubbles. Like Moscato's. 
But even then, not all the time. I bet this is going to be one of those looks that I like way more with mascara on. Yep, that's helping. See, when you have those very reflective things, even with our darker colored shadow like the purple, they don't add as much depth because they're so shimmery. Which is a good and a bad thing. I like my metallics to be super reflective. But then when I'm re relying on the shimmer shade to add depth to the look, I trick myself and forget how reflective it is. things I'm learning. I should have gone with the cool things I was thinking about. Um, hopefully tomorrow I will have enough time and brain cells to make a good look out of... I want to do the Nev Cosmetics Duochrome palette with that uh, Viseart Dark Matte. Then I want to do Blue and Purple again. Maybe Blue and Green. We'll see. I think one of the reasons I like the mascara at the end of looks is because it, since I fan my lashes out towards the corner, it adds some of that depth that I tend to like. It helps accentuate the way I shape my eyes with the shading in my eyeshadow. And so if there's a look like this where the outer corner didn't get as deep as I was expecting, the mascara adds a little extra of what I was going for. As I make spider legs out of my lashes. Okay, what is my plan for lips? No plan. Um, let's just do a gloss. We'll do something lazy and nude and let the pink of the eyes with the extra blush be the thing. It'll be the thing. So, going in with Fenty, I think this is Fussy. Okay, take the hair down. I 
and we will prep to get more light on my face. Okay, yeah. I don't... I don't hate it as much <laughs> with lashes and everything done. I still, like, hate when that corner waters because that's just going to be a mess. It wears away the primer, it wears away everything. But if that's the only thing that technically went wrong with my makeup. Oh, but you can see that, like, Star is pretty. But you can't use nearly as much product as some of the other ones because of how strong that base tone is. Like, it will get very silver very fast. I like it. I'm, I'm growing. It's growing on me. Still not what I had planned, but we will do more of that with the many, many days that I will likely be home because our, our stay-at-home order is through, I believe, the end of April, and it's not likely that that's going to get lifted, and I most likely can't go back to work until the stay-at-home orders are done and people are comfortable coming into the office for services. Yeah, I think I can I can get away with the extra blush. Maybe. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. I have to go check on my cake and see if it's cool enough to frost. Because I've now made... I made a lemon cheesecake with lemon curd. I made a cake that I didn't like. It was like a red wine chocolate cake. It didn't really turn out. Uh, I made, I feel like I made something else in between, but I also made a French silk pie, which we just finished last night, so now it's banana cake with cream cheese frosting. I'm sure I'm missing a dessert. I know I made more than that. It's gone now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. If you have specific color combinations, I have a couple plans, but we'll see. Not all my plans are turning out the way I wanted, so. We'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Quarantine if possible. Do like me. Stay inside. Go crazy. Drink wine. Do makeup. I'll see you guys on the other side.